Hello guys and welcome to another episode of IoT on Raspberry Pi. So in our last video what we did is we created a device on the IoT hat platform which we are using and then we connected this device to the actual hardware we are using. So in this episode what we are going to do is we are going to make this values of the LED status appear on the dashboard. So for this what you need to do is we need to add these values to our dashboard. So click this button it will show show on widget click this and there are many widgets available but the one as you can see there are many other widgets available but the one which you are going to use is the cards. Now you can use this one or you can go and select the next widget and this is the one which I am going to use. So let's simply click this add to dashboard button and this will be added to our dashboard which we created. So here we need to select which dashboard we have. So the one which we have is the RPA GPIO and simply click add. Okay so this has been added and let's go to the dashboard page. Let's open this and you can see here the one here the widget which we have added. Let's click this and let's make it a bit larger okay now this looks good now let's do one thing let's start our code and see if these values are changing or not okay so here you can see the values are changing and this is how you do your IoT project. This is how you communicate all the information from your hardware to a particular IP to a particular IoT hub platform. Now what if if I say what if I want to access this particular dashboard from anywhere in the world. So by this I mean to say I do not want to be the, I, I want to access this from outside the net, the network. So what you need to do in this case is you need to go to the devices and you need to make your device as public. So select this device and make device public. Click yes. And then go to the dashboard and make your dashboard as public. So you need to copy this link and paste it wherever you want to access this dashboard. So let's open let's open another window and let's paste and go. So here we have. Now you can use this URL anywhere you want outside this network outside the network which you have created and you can use this URL to get the status of your LED. Now this was just about the GPIO. You can add a sensor, you can add a temperature sensor and create a widget for that. You can add any any input output devices any sensors and you can get the real time values of all those data here. So this was all about how you can make a hardware communicate to a IoT hub platform and you can uh, you can make uh, easy IoT projects. So that's all for this video and please like share subscribe and comment if you have any questions regarding this.